Hey everybody, it's your hospitality friend Glenn here. I got a special show for you today. One of the things you know that I love most is branding. Talking about branding, thinking about branding, how we express that branding out there. And I love that one hotel brand in particular is rethinking how they're branding it to better appeal towards travelers today. And that's the key right there. A smart shift in order to keep your business moving forward to appeal towards a specific group of people. So today, we've got ourselves Mr. Dean Winter. He's the Managing Director with Swire Hotels. We're going to be talking about the East Hotel Miami, which is taking on a brand new personality, which we'll reveal in just one second. Dean, how are you, my friend? I'm very well, Glenn. Good to, good to be with you this morning. Thank you. Uh, so... I'm curious, um, tell us a little bit about the history of the hotel, and then let's get into why the pivot. I'm like really excited to share this kind of insight with our, our audience, because I think, Dean, one of the things that happens is people get so caught up on a course that they're going that they don't realize that you can make a change and things will be better, even if in the face of that change, it seems like it could be a difficult kind of challenge. Am I kind of right with what y'all are thinking about there? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. I mean, our, our, our story goes back to 2010 when we opened East Hong Kong and we started the brand very much within the realm of the sort of corporate business traveler trying to do something different and refreshing. We were extremely successful and it was a kind of lifestyle approach to that to that traditional model of, of, the, of the business travel hotel. And, you know, 14, 15 years on, we recognize that we've changed as a brand. We've got three hotels now with more in the pipeline. And our customers have changed. And also the hotel's role in their respective community has changed. So this was an opportunity for us to rethink all of those things and then reposition the brand accordingly. And that what you're focusing on now is what you're calling alt luxury. So uh, to me, that says, obviously, you're staying there within your luxury roots, but you're creating uh, a new way for people to experience your brand. Could you just take us through uh, how you see the, uh, the changes being made? Yeah, I mean, I mean, fundamentally, the it's really about recognizing how our how our customers have 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 changed, mm -hmm. and we've got a very young cohort, a very young tribe. When yeah. I say young, I'm talking 25 to 40, and uh, you know, they're extremely really well traveled, well uh, mid 50s in there uh, as well. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm still yeah. gonna like it, Dean, even though it's not for me. Go on. <laughs> So they're extremely well traveled and and their needs are different. They they they've right. definitely moved away from the from wanting to stay in just any ordinary hotel. When they visit, they want to do other things. They also want to connect with the staff. They want to connect with the hotel and its community. And and they can afford to stay, frankly, anywhere. Right. And our research has told us that we had a crossover between our house collective brand, which is the premium offering, and the East brand. And the, these were people that 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 wanted to stay in a hotel that had all the quality and had the service, but didn't have all the fuss. Right. And right. They, they wanted to arrive in whatever car they wanted, wearing whatever clothes they wanted, knowing that they're not going to be judged. All right. So I may just put a pin in that right there, because you're absolutely right. And even though I'm an old guy now, I never really connected with the traditional experience of luxury that we see at those classic hotels in the big city destinations. Right. They're all great hotels, but I never connected with them with a design kind of a style. Plus, you're right. That is the greatest word for it, fussiness. I just felt like I had to be too formal. And we're in a world where we've seen the pendulum swing a lot in the other way to that barefoot luxury category. And in the cities, right, you need to have something that's more to how we dress today. And, uh, you know, Beneath this shirt over here, I got on shorts and crocs. So, you know, <laughs> speaking my language over there. So I can remove the fussiness. And what does that really mean to the stay experience at uh, the East Hotel Miami and your other properties? Yeah. I missed the question. Sorry, going to say okay. it again. Uh, how does it really relate to the way that it's going to, your luxury is going to be expressed in this more non-fussy manner? Well, it's, it's really about, I mean, we've always had this, this, this philosophy where, the team that we hire are highly engaging and very spontaneous and they embrace the fact that every day is different. Every guest is different. That, that really isn't changing where I think what we've, we've done is, in, is around our, is around our programming right. and, and, and this, this message around being, you know, 
our values in SD come from our, our owning company. They've, you know, it's all really about how we how we live our lives at the hotel every day, employees and guests alike, and not necessarily going around beating our chests about how much waste we separate and how much water we use and and all that kind of thing. It's it's really just about in the conversations that we have with our guests, being able to express that as part of the conversation, part of the narrative, and and that's what we find that our young generation of of guests, our 25 to 40 year olds, want that conversation, want that spontaneity when they come to feel connected. And then the hotel programming within the community um, is is something that we're also really, really sort of looking into how we can be better. Um, an example would be, for example, in, in, in Hong Kong, we've got this amazing group of what we call the Midnight Runners, yeah. who are a local, a local community that, 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 that do weekly runs. They'll then, you know, be used the hotel afterwards for for events they gather like their tribe they welcome guests in the hotel to come and join them um we've got music programming we've got we've got you know talks from ngos that that are really inspiring young entrepreneurs and and this is something that's that's becoming really what we see is why people choose to stay at the hotel so they, they feel that they're connecting with the community and that's really one of the ways that we're seeing um, travel take off now. It's the whole idea of being rooted in the community. Otherwise, what's the point? It right. becomes a fungible product that doesn't have any depth of meaning. So what we're really talking about here is how you're going to connect with that traveler on an emotional level. Obviously, you've got the the modern luxury that sets the stage for the experiences with that you are creating. In order to fully bore that experience, you need to have those certain things in the DNA. And that's mm -hmm. where uh, waste reduction, energy reduction, and all of that is just becomes part of the conversation. But really, then what you're doing is you're creating a gateway to the community with which you are in. So mm -hmm. how do you fundamentally think about that in a place like Miami to keep people in the hotel but also give them the experience to enjoy things out of the hotel. Because obviously you want them spending money at this beautiful bar pool over here and in your restaurants and in other things. Yeah. I mean, there are so many examples, but I really, I think what it comes down to, Glenn, is just is the, yeah. is, the is the accessibility that the, that the team provide. I think back to your earlier point about, about how hotels are, are very formal and, and, and fussy, yet you can never really feel that you can connect on a, on a relationship level with the guy behind the front desk, for example. Right. And, you know, we we had this philosophy, we've always had it, but we're just elevating it now, where you can arrive in East Miami, you get the feeling that you've arrived in a different kind of place. The lobby here, the, I mean, the staff don't wear a hotel uniform, right? They wear their own wardrobe, they feel super comfortable, and that, that makes them feel relaxed very engaged and that connectivity that we provide with our guests is really the best expression of the brand it always we've always believed in that uh, right and um i and my uh no vacancy live partner anthony are going to be doing a keynote speech at high tech the opening uh, keynote speech morning of june 25th i hope to see you all there but in that is our philosophy of uh, how technology could take over if we're not careful and we have to empower our people to create those experiences, to create those memories, because that is what this business is all about, Dean. It's making the emotional connection with right. people, but in a smart, sensible way. And in order to frame the whole experience, I like what you're doing. You you took all of these ideas and kind of synthesized them into six different uh, pillars that I guess every single thing that you do within the business goes through this particular uh, check. So let me just read them all off and then we'll go through uh, each one. Culture of equality, place of inclusion, fitness support, wellness support, real solutions for our planet and community of alternative thinkers. I really uh, like that one. So when you're thinking about these transformative pillars on which you base this new alt luxury philosophy on, how did you go through uh, each one? Culture of equality to start with. Yeah, I mean, it's really about that that point about you know treating people as equals and 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 celebrating people's individuality. That's that's really what what we've been doing really since the beginning. But it's it's now we recognise that that's one of the reasons why people choose our brand because it is so refreshing and it is so accessible. Yeah, and and how do you see the place of inclusion? Well, it, again, it's that it's that being <clears throat> pardon me, it's being being part of the community, 
and doing the outreach with with with, with the local yeah. with, with the local charities and also and also being being there for 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 these for these events and and and, and the whole programming which which connects the hotel from the neighborhood to to the guest all right here's one i could use fitness uh support over there how are you gonna how are you gonna help me with that i've gotten good well i think it's re- it's really great <laughs> but i need help <laughs> well it's fitness and 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 of course nutrition but but it's but it's also really about these things like the running clubs and the boot camps and and being able to provide those solutions for people that don't just want to go to the gym they want to go out see the countryside we've got amazing locations where our hotels are so that's really how we're being able to bring that bring that outdoor experience to to, to the guest yeah, I was not. Uh, my DNA has not led me to being a, a a runner, but I love getting out there and doing hikes and exploring new towns and cities. Mm-hmm. And it can be a uh, it can be a cement, you know, street hike throughout uh, Miami or walking through a uh, uh, con. But that's how I I like to uh, get out there and do things. All right, next one, wellness support. And that goes the step further than uh, just the the physical stuff. It's all of the things that go around helping get you into that place, right? It's not a great connection, Glenn. I think I thought I'm gonna just I'm gonna go with what I think you said, and it's really just about wellness and 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 and, and the programming that we provide mm-hmm. is is really about everything from from sleep. It's you know obviously working out, but it's also about food and nutrition, and 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 also being able to relax culturally around things like you know our art programming and 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 again back to those events that we do. It's all about about you know awareness of of, of your body and your mind. Is also something that we're we're doing through our programming. Awesome. And what does real solutions for our planet mean to you, folks? Yeah, I mean, it's it's you know, this is something that we could talk a lot about. But we're not we're 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 firm believers in in doing the right thing. Whether that's you know, the whole kind of waste separation that we were talking about. We don't have any plastics in the hotel at all. Every guest room has its own water filtration system. We don't. Right. We're, we're trying as much as possible through design as well at the hotels to to minimize what we do and minimize waste. As we approach now 10 years, we we're doing you know certain you know, room renovation programs where we're looking at how we can incorporate these SD components into the design and also minimize waste from these from these changes that we're doing. Yeah, that's that's great. I love that, and I love that you're like no greenwashing here. Too many companies are all about, hey, we just won't wash the towels, and we're doing the right thing by the environment. What you're doing is taking a real approach to things and solving problems. Also, final one: community of alternative thinkers what does that mean to you as a brand? well i mean it's again i think through through the years of of, of working with with our brand we, we we've seen that we, we we attract certain a certain demographic a certain profile mm-hmm. and we and these alternative thinkers are everything from you know artists musicians entrepreneurs creative types that that are of this certain demographic this like 25 to 40 year old that are that are really looking at at, at engaging with us and 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 then how can we engage with them so if you go onto the website you'll see some really cool video content mm-hmm. about some personalities that we've engaged to help express that uh and uh, again you're using personalities because remember hospitality uh brethren out there you can create the most gorgeous buildings but if you don't fill it with vibrant amazing people delivering world-class service with whatever star category you're in it can still be world class from two stars to five stars to the pretend 10 stars that they uh, have uh, out there. You can uh, make it happen by understanding these fundamental differences. And that's why, Dean, I really love that you've pivoted uh, in this direction. Before we let you go, uh, can you share anything about your future expansion plans and other places that you're looking to be? Yeah, well, we've, we've, we've sort of moved away from this sort of owner manager model to to a sort of, you know, being more of a management company, and as a result, we're, we're, we're engaging with other developers. We've got some really exciting projects <clears throat> in the Asia Pacific region, from from Tokyo to to, to Australia. Um, we really believe that the East brand has legs to to go on to be a sort of 30 plus property in the next 15 years or so. Um, the House Collective brand, of course, as well, has also got plans for development there. We've just announced um, deals in both Tokyo and Shenzhen in China. So we, we've got, you know, modest ambitions, but we believe that with the right ownership partners we can work with, we can really do well. Dean, I'm so glad that we were able to talk today. Uh, Swire is a company I've known about for a long time, but I think this is my first meaningful interaction with you all. Thanks for uh, helping bring our hospitality community forward by uh, sharing what you did uh, today. Thanks so much for uh, for being Thanks, here. Man. I really appreciate you. I appreciate all of you out there for watching. So 
we really learned all about like if you get set on a particular trajectory, it's okay to make change. Remember, Google and their whole philosophy, it's okay to fail, just fail quickly and move on. These guys were successful, but they saw changes within the market. And over time, it became evident to them that by changing and focusing their messaging, they'd better be able to connect with people by also getting great people that espouse the community values with which they're in. All right, I'm Glenn Hausman. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, Steps Word Hotel to 66866. And of course, check out novacancynews.com. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.